In this video, you're going to learn how to add Add Module Frames to pages of your site. At the end, we'll preview this. First, click on the name of the site you want to work on. Then click on Pages. Choose the page group you want to add this to and click on it. Locate the page you want to add your Add Module Frames to. Click on the page. Then select the area or select Page Layout. Click inside the frame that you want to add an Add Module frame to. Then click on the Frame Type and Info button in the toolbox. Typically you will want a login panel on your Add Module page. So first you would select the module as Membership. Whichever Membership module you're using, select it. Frame Type will automatically change to Login Panel. Click Save when you're done. This brings you to the settings of the login panel. Here you can choose the orientation of the login panel. This means basically the layout flow of the login panel. You can specify the sign up link text, the custom label, the login button label, and the find password button label. You can also set the message that they'll see if they have an invalid login or password. You can also set the message for an inactive account. You can also specify where they go upon successful login and what happens to the page. This section deals with the logged in view. The edit button, you can specify what it says on the edit button or edit my profile button. You can specify what it says on the logout button. You can also choose to show the members area navigation or not. And you can choose upon logout where do you want to redirect them to. Click save when you're done. Now let's add a search box. First, click inside the frame you want to add the search box to. Then click the Frame Type and Info button in the toolbox. In the Module drop-down, select your Add Module. In the Frame Type drop-down, select Search Box. Click Save when you're done. This brings you to the Settings area of the search box. I'll briefly explain each step. This is asking you where you want to show the field values. Checking this box will auto-clear the search criteria. This is asking you how and when you want it to do the search. This box is where you specify what happens upon search, redirect to where. This drop-down is asking you to specify where to go if they only find one record. Here you can specify what locations you want them to search in. They can also search for an item type if you had different types of items. The fields down here are the fields you'll see under each item, such as the code, the title, description. You can change any of these by checking the box to the far left and then changing the text. If you uncheck any of the boxes in the Include Default Value field, it will make it so that field does not show. Scroll down and click Save when you're done. Now let's add a Locations list. First, click inside the frame you want to add this in. Then click the Frame Type and Info button in the toolbox. Under Module, select the Add Module. Under Frame Type, select Location List. Scroll down and click Save when you're done. This page deals with the settings of your location list. Checking this box means whatever they've searched for will affect the locations that are listed. Here you can choose a top location and a default location. You can also select how you want your locations to show. If you choose drop down list, you can choose to show a header line. You can also change the text on the header line if you wish. This is asking you if you want the search to search in nested locations as well. Here's where you specify where to redirect them to upon search. Scroll down and click Save when you're done. Now let's add the items themselves. Click inside the frame you want to add the items to. And then click the Frame Type and Info button in the toolbox. In the module drop-down, select your Add Module. 
Under Frame Type, select Item List. Click Save when you're done. This section deals with the settings of the item list. Here you can set the view mode, the items listed, the default items. You can also select advanced filtering and you can select how you want to order them. You can also set this to show only featured items by checking this box. The Show Items Belonging To box is so you can specify which members you want to show items that belong to. Here you can specify the number of item rows per page. You can also set the number of columns per page. With this drop down, you can set the navigation location. Here you can choose to rotate your items if you wish. This is where you specify upon link to details where they go. You can also choose to open in the new window or in the same window. Here you can specify the location link page. This is where you specify the message they see if no item was found. Checking this box will update the page title and the meta information. Scroll down and click save when you're done. Here you can see the rows per page item that we selected. This allows the user to specify how many ads they want to see per page. Now let's preview our page. Here you'll see the login panel we've added. Here's the search box we added. This is the location list drop down that we added. This is the ad we created in the video called How to Add an Ad Module Item.